So I'm making a pair of two at a time toe up socks and that means that I have to do a bunch of increases to get the toe shape. And I'm realizing how fiddly a make one left and a make one right can be, especially when you're using teeny tiny needles and teeny tiny yarn. So I found that I'm doing a few little tricks to help me get through those stitches. So I'm gonna show those to you now. Okay, so in this particular increase, I am knitting the first stitch and then I do a make one right, okay? Because my sock is leaning up and to the right, I wanna make one right so it leans that way as well. All right, so when we do a make one, we actually are lifting the piece of yarn that goes between the two stitches like that. So you can see that this particular loop right here goes to this loop over here and it also went to this loop that I've already knitted. So it's easy to tell which piece it is because you can see I also have like a little green loop down there in, in the ladder. And I don't want that one because that one is actually hooked to the row below. And it's easy with this particular yarn to tell which is um, which because it's striping but if I look at this loop I can when I pull on it it makes this loop tighter so I know I have the right loop so this is the first step in a make one left make one right situation now it depends on left or right whether you take this and go underneath like this um, through the front or if you go through the back so since I'm doing a make one right, I want to go through the back. And I know this because I always say to myself, I'll be right back. So right back. If ever I want to make one right, I start through the back. Okay. So now I'm going to go through the back with my left needle. So I'm basically just putting this new loop on the needle. So I'm going to go through the back and I'm going to put it on there. Okay, now the trick to, let me just spread these out a little bit. The trick to doing a make one right and a make one left is that you have to twist that stitch because I could very easily just insert my needle under here and I could knit that stitch, but it's basically, that's gonna just turn it into a yarn over and there's gonna be a big hole. Instead, I have to knit through the front loop. You have to knit through the short loop. Okay, so you can tell the loop in the the leg in the back is long and the leg in the front is short. So that's where I want to knit from is the short leg. So I'm basically just going to try to get in there. Wait, get. Okay. Oh, well, I'm in there, but I've split the yarn. There's a piece of yarn behind. I haven't got the whole thing. I mean, this is very fiddly and difficult. So what I've been doing is I've been inserting my right hand needle into this loop and then I've been slowly switching places with the needles. So then I bring this in the front just like that and see, boom, now I'm in the front, okay? Now I'm facing the wrong way. I'm basically gonna purl at this point. So I'm gonna take this needle and I'm gonna pull it toward me a little bit so I get some space in there. And then I'm gonna take my left hand finger and hold that in place. Then I'm gonna very carefully slip the needle out of it. Look at that big hole that's waiting right there for me. See that big hole there? Look at that, beautiful. So now I'm gonna very carefully move my right needle and I'm gonna slide it into that space that I made just like that. Now I can pull this a little bit tighter and now I'm knitting through that front loop. So now I can knit just like that. And I've done my increase and you can see that it's leaning to the right. So now I'm gonna quickly go over to the second increase that I do on the other side of the toe and show you how to do a make one left. All right, so I'm at my last stitch here. 
All right, it's time to do a make one left. So we know the first step is to, we wanna follow this piece of yarn and find it between the loops. So there, I've, you see I've grabbed it. And this time, I wanna take my left needle and go through the front because I did a back before, right, I'll be right back. So now we know that we're doing the opposite. The left is through the front. So I'm gonna slip it on the needle, putting this needle through the front of this loop that I scooped, okay? So now the long leg is in the front. So I don't wanna just knit that because that'll just give me a yarn over. Instead, I wanna knit through the back loop. All right, well, let me see if I, I mean, uh, that's only part of the yarn. Okay, again, we're having the same problem. I could be dramatic all day about it, but it's a pain. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my needle and I'm gonna slip it under the long loop and then I'm just gonna trade needle places, okay? So I'm just gonna very carefully swap the needles, okay? See how I can kind of move both needles around under that loop? So now this needle is in the back, and in this case, I'm actually ready to knit that back loop. This one's a little bit easier. See, I'm right behind it, and then I'm just going to knit that loop, make it a little loose, and then finish. And then I've got my make one left. Although these stitches are a little fiddly, they're essential to projects. A lot of times you have to do increases and make one left and make one right are very popular. So I hope this tip helps you get through those a little bit easier and get your project done just a little bit faster.